Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Ricketts and I'm a digital marketing specialist, an ads expert, a complete tech nerd, and most importantly, I'm a mother. How are you going? And welcome to 2022. I thought I'd create a short video to uh, welcome you all to the new year. I can't wait to get started and give you a couple of uh, some three insights into some things that I'll be carefully looking into in the world of digital marketing for myself and my clients in 2022. Now, the first uh, area that I will be doing more for my clients and myself is short term videos, short term short form videos. And what that is, it's just really quick, punchy videos, much like this ones that last no longer than two minutes. Try and keep them under your minute if you can, but I'm a bit of a chatterbox, so I doubt this one will go for a minute. So things like reels and stories and short form videos, these are great, not only for Facebook and Instagram, but if you're looking into uh, a YouTube channel, if you're looking into TikTok, all of these platforms are pro, uh, using video and are starting to prefer video more and more often. And of course, we hear about this all the time throughout the years, but uh, every year it's getting that little bit more prominent. So if you're not comfortable on video, my friends, start getting comfortable on video because it's definitely only going to get uh, more intense from here. The second thing that I'm looking into and training myself on for my clients and myself is Google Analytics. Now we all know last year we made some pretty major changes in the way we track people and how um, people's privacy are kept online. Apple made some major changes and Google are about to make some changes uh, this year as well. So what's really important if you're running paid advertising is we need to look at all the data. So this doesn't mean just looking at the Facebook data anymore. It also has, um, you also need to look at your Google Analytics so we can get a full picture of what is actually happening because there's not one platform now that's telling us the truth. We have to combine the data and learn, learn more about what is actually happening from a variation, um, from a variety of sources. So Google Analytics is an area that I'm going to be uh, pushing for my clients. We need to uh, learn more about it, utilize it more because there's so much data in there that we now have to use because we couldn't get the information from whatever platform that we're doing. And the third thing I'm going to encourage my clients this year is to consider multi-channel advertising. Yes, Facebook ads and Instagram ads are still successful. They're great. Trust me, that we're still getting great results with Facebook ads. But now it's also time to consider adding on some others or trying others out. And I'm not saying be on everything like your LinkedIn, your Instagram, your Snapchat, your TikTok. You don't have to be everywhere. You just need to be where your clients are. So if your clients are Googling, perhaps Google ads will definitely uh, benefit you. Or if, you, if your clients are of an older generation, perhaps Microsoft ads. Those are the types of things that I'm encouraging people this year uh, to look into doing multi-channel, multi-platform advertising and promotion. And this goes for your organic stuff, your free posts as well. You don't have to create different posts um, for different platforms. I'm going off to a fourth tip here. This is what happens. But uh, what I'm saying is create a piece of content and repurpose it onto your multi-channel platforms. And that's all from me. If I want to keep this in a short video, I better wrap up now. Thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to sharing with you some more tips um, throughout the year. I wish you all the best. And if you do need some help with your business's uh, online advertising, please reach out and book a call with me. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks, everyone. Until next time.